Hey, welcome back guys, this is Karate Fox, and today we are making the EMD SD70 ACE in the Ferramex livery, which is a Mexican railroad. So here is what it looks like. I have a new, brand new SD70 ACE. A lot of people in the live stream, which I stream every Saturday, were requesting SD70 ACEs. Uh, so this is the one that has been requested, the Ferromex. It's been a while since I built this railroad. And the last time I built it, I had it in black wool instead of green because I'm not sure if there was dark prismarine back then. Uh, but we have it right now and I have a new vent design on the side here. Uh, before in older models of SC7 ACs, I had this like really thick, uh, but now I had it uh, where we're using the stairs for the vents. So this is going to be the new designs for the future SC70 ACEs and I didn't really want to have it like totally 3D like this because it was it was just like a massive hole so this is a design that it came up with and I do like it a lot and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the build um, and yeah let's get started so first off we're gonna build, we're gonna build uh, the plow so let's take out a smooth quartz stairs and we're gonna place that in the middle of tracks and then we'll add in um, nether brick stairs on sides. The outer edge, we're going to add upside down smooth quartz stairs. Now in the middle, we're going to add three blocks wide of black concrete. And the middle part's going to be 11 long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, like so. Then we're going to go back to the front and add an upside down nether brick stairs on the sides like so. And then on top we'll add smooth quartz slab here. And then um, go underneath in the middle area we're going to add another brick stairs upside down. And dark oak fence gates on either side of that. Then we'll add the steps which is just two oak uh, slabs right on top of each other like this. And uh, yeah for the middle area we're going to take some more black concrete. You know what we're going to make it extend so two blocks like that and we're going to make a little wall on the outer edge so make this part five blocks wide and add another brick stairs underneath it both sides next we'll take out birch fence we could add that to the sides like this and the front we're going to add another one up here same thing on the other side then the middle area is going to have acacia fences two blocks tall either side then we'll add in a trip wire hook alongside the middle, which is going to be the coupler, which is a dark oak slab like that. I don't know. Is coupler the right terminology? <laughs> coupler, coupling. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate underneath and open that up. All right. Now the back of this, we'll add in some more uh, nether brick slab three blocks wide. All right. Very cool. Now we're going to build the bogey. Now this time I actually remembered how, how to make the bogey design without looking at it. So take out a gray terracotta, add a pair of wheels here. Then we'll add in a dark oak stairs right behind it upside down. Both sides. Skip a block, add another one here. And then we're going to skip a block and add another one here. All right. Then we're going to add in another brick block in between the stairs. So add it like so for all of them. Then um, where the wheels are, we're going to add in another brick uh, stairs upside down. Right inside, and you may have to like delete the track so that you can have access to the inside of this. So I'm going to do that. And this part's going to be a little bit tricky, so I'm going to come from the top and add it like so. All right, and then close that back up. Now we're going to add in another brick slab and space in between here. And then another one in the back. Then we'll add in dark oak fence gates. Actually, not yet. We'll add in hoppers first. So we're going to add in hoppers to the sides of the wheels like this. And we're also going to add it to the back of these stairs for all of them. Like so. Then we'll do the other side. Same thing. Adding in a lot of hoppers. And, you know, technically... We have the same amount of hoppers as my older hopper design now, but at least now it's way more accurate. Then next, we're going to add in another brick slabs here in between. Two blocks long like that, and then one in the back. 
Then on top, we're going to add in a pair right here. Skip a block, pair. Skip a block, another pair. And we'll add dark oak fence gate in the back. Open it up. Same thing on the other side. Add again another brick slabs to the sides here and one in the back. And then we're going to add pairs on the top. Space the part. And then we'll add dark oak fence gate in the back. Open it up. All right, so the SD70 ACE, uh, they have like this little bump here, so we'll have to make that later. Uh, but for now, we'll take out uh, another brick uh, walls and then add it right above these two, actually these three hoppers on top. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add in black concrete uh, in the gaps that's between the walls. All right. Then we'll add in another brick slab right here in between this wall. And now we can add that little block right over here in between these two wheels. Same thing on the other side. I'm not quite sure what exactly it's for. Um, I think it's for like lifting it, uh, some like lifting hooks or something. Um, but anyways, uh, looks to be about it for the bogey design, I think. And now uh, we can add in the fuel tank. So take out black concrete. I'm going to make it three blocks wide, and I'm going to make it two by three, like this. Then we'll add in uh, nether brick uh, stairs on the side. We're going to make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll add in another brick slab here, and then another brick stairs facing the back, and then another brick stairs upside down. And we may have to place a block temporarily, so I can place it right. And this part's going to be three blocks long. So one, two, and three like that. Then the bottom row, we're going to add another brick stairs all the way across, upside down. Go on the other end, make another two by three black concrete. And then we're going to go across the side again here with another brick stairs upside down all the way across. And the other side, it's just going to be another brick slabs on top of that. So let's add that like so. Then we'll add in black concrete in the nooks and crannies that show on the side. So we fill that in like that and that little gap with the black concrete. Alright, looks good so far. Now on the other side, uh, we'll add in another brick slab here, another brick wall on either side. And then the rest is going to be the same as we did in the front. So um, yeah, basically we're going to copy all that we did in the front. Rotate 180 degrees from this uh, slab here and then build the same thing over here. Alright, so once we built the rear truck and the pilot back there, let's go to the back. And this one's going to be a little bit different. So what we're going to have to do, uh, delete this middle area, add in uh, smooth ports right there. And then we're going to go dangling down right in front of where the, actually the plow here, we can just remove everything because we need to replace everything and then we'll add in smooth quartz adjacent to that uh, fence gate and then black concrete in the middle and then another brick stairs upside down on sides then delete the stairs on top replace it with smooth quartz and it's going to be upside down like this all right and when you're placing these uh, quartz slab make it make sure that everything is smooth quartz so you don't have like lines everywhere then we'll add in a spruce uh, fence gate, or not fence gate, a trap door in between the acacia fences. Same thing in the front, add in that uh, chain right there. Now the front has ditch lights, so we'll add in item frames with smooth quartz inside of it like so. Now on the front, we'll add in red concrete. We're gonna make an O shape. And the middle of the O is gonna be a black concrete. So let's add that. Then uh, we're going to make a uh, side here. Uh, we'll add in, I guess, six blocks long of red concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. Extend that out. And then we'll add in uh, the dark prismarine uh, blocks, two blocks long on the bottom, and dark prismarine stairs on top. Now this is what it looks like. Same thing on the other side, make sure the front edge is cornered. Then for the rest, we can add in um, red concrete all the way across here. And the top section, we're going to add red concrete, skip one, and then add an L shape. 
All right, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just copy everything like so, and then we'll fill in the middle of this hood with red concrete like that. Then the middle area, we're going to make a T-shape of red concrete. And then we're going to make this T-shape, the top of it, uh, let's say f uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Extend the rest out like this. Then we'll add in acacia stairs on sides of the top of the hood and then make the first one in the front uh, cornered. Same thing on the other side, like that. And then we're going to extend this red concrete another block like that. Then we'll add dark prism rain, um, three blocks wide like that. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the front area. Uh, we'll add in uh, acacia fence gates for a ladder here, two blocks tall like that, open them up. In the middle, we'll add a stone bun right here. And the sides, we'll add acacia buns right there. And then a dark oak bun, two blocks tall here. Then we'll add in a dark oak sign for the number plates up here. Then we'll add black stained glass blocks, uh, two blocks wide for the windshield. And then we'll add black stained glass panes right here in the front and a red glass pane in the middle so it sticks out a little bit. And the side here, we'll need to add in smooth quartz here. And it looks to be a glass pane, so add that. Same thing on the other side. So smooth quartz here, glass pane, and then we'll need the side view mirror, and then the that's going to be an iron bar like that, and a case trap door like that for the sunshade. Same thing on the other side, like that. All right, then we'll add in a birch bun next to um, the smooth quartz, and another birch bun down here, side that dark prismarine. The other side doesn't have it, I believe. And now what we're going to do, um, we're going to work on the side panel here, add in two more red concretes. And then we'll need a dark prism rain block. And then one more red concrete. On top we'll add in acacia slab. It's going to be two blocks long and then a dark prism rain slab. Then acacia slab. Alright, now for this side. This could be a, sort of like a V or a chevron shape, an arrow. So let's make that using the dark prism rain. So you have the, this nice V. The other side has like a giant box, so it's not going to be exactly the same. Uh, but for this side, uh, we'll add red concrete, row of three here. And make this part go all the way down right there. Pretty sure it goes all the way down. And then we'll fill in the gaps here with red concrete. So it's all filled in. Then we'll add in this uh, bedrock block. Two blocks long, both sides, with gray carpet on top and red concrete. Actually, not red. Dark prismarine in the middle of that. Add a row of three dark prismarine here. And then a dark prismarine stairs, which is going to face towards the front in the middle. And dark prism marine blocks on either side of that. Then we'll add dark prism marine uh, slabs. It's going to be two blocks long. One, two, and then a dark oak fence gate. And then three more dark prism marine slabs. So one, two, and three. Then we'll add spruce trap doors on the sides of this all the way across. The side, same thing. So there is a little slope here in the SD70 ACE. Now we'll add in Dark Prism Marine underneath the horn so that we have not a giant hole in the roof. Very cool. Then we'll add Dark Prism Marine stairs three blocks wide facing the back, like that. Then Dark Prism Marine block five blocks long in the middle one, two, three, four, five. In the middle of that, we'll add it three block wide here. Then we'll add dark prismarine stairs alongside the dark prismarine, like this. And I'm going to make the two uh, radiator fans on top, so it's going to be daylight detectors to make them blue. And make two pairs like that. 
Then we'll add in Dark Bruce and Marine uh, stairs. It's going to face towards the front, three blocks uh, wide. Sort of like how we did it in the front, just the other direction like that. And then we'll add in uh, Bedrock, two blocks long. And Dark Bruce and Marine on the sides of it. And then we'll add three blocks wide here, and then one right there, so it's pointy. Then on the side here, we'll add Dark Bruce Marine stairs all the way across. The radiator, same thing on the other side. Like that. And then on the edges, we're going to add in Dark Bruce Marine stairs, while the middle is going to have Dark Bruce Marine or not. Another brick stairs like that. Other side, same thing. Like so. All right, now in the back, we're gonna extend this uh, block down, this dark prism marine section, like that. And then we'll add in a birch button right here in the middle. Another pair on the sides, like this. And then on the side, a pair here with uh, spruce buttons on top. Same thing on the other side. So, then we'll add a birch fence gate right here in the middle, open it up. And then a red nether brick block with a bedrock underneath that. Going to be a vent in the back, and it is quite close to the back. And we'll add in dark prism marine um, block underneath the bedrock. Then the side here, we're going to add two blocks tall, dark prism marine, and then we'll add in a red concrete block. Same thing on the other side. All right, then on this side, we'll add in two red glass panes. Like so the other side's gonna have a ladder, so that's gonna be acacia fence gates. It goes all the way to the top, open them all up, like so. Then we'll add in a nether brick slab right above this black concrete on the side, like so. And then we'll add in birch fences, another two on top. Same thing on the other side. Alright, so for this side, there's going to be a bedrock vent, uh, two by two. Inside, we're going to add another two, like this. And then two acacia uh, slabs like that. And then we'll add in acacia stairs, right side up. Actually, upside down, never mind. And then dark prismarine stairs underneath, right side up. And then we'll add in the brake wheel, which is going to be acacia um, trap door. And close it up, like so. Alright, so for the other side, let's see. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. We're just going to add another vent here. So skip a block here, and then add two blocks tall. And add another bedrock diagonally inwards. And then we'll add acacia slabs um, in front of the top bedrocks. And I think it's like red um, in between, like that. And then dark prismarine for the rest. Fill that in. Like so. Make sure I'm doing that right. All right. So it looks good so far. And then we're going to go on this side. And we're going to make the fans here. So let's go ahead and add in acacia stairs. Face at the back here. They're facing outwards. And then dark prismarine stairs. And acacia stairs facing towards the front. It's going to be cornered. And then red concrete, and then two uh, dark prism marine blocks like this, and dark prism marine stairs upside down. Then there's going to be two red concretes, dark prism marine, red concrete, top section uh, cornered, uh, dark prism marine stairs, and then three uh, acacia stairs. Third one's going to be cornered, so we have like these two distinct vents. Then we'll add uh, two of these birch signs. Alright, then on this corner we're going to add in uh, two bedrocks. Now some SC70 ACs by Ferramex, they have another design where it's like vertical like that. Just be aware of that. I don't know if anyone even notices. But when I was studying that, I noticed that. So on the next, we'll add red concrete here. Dark prism marine. And then two red concretes. And then we'll add a dark prism marine stairs. Uh, it's gonna face towards the front. It's gonna be, I guess, yeah, right side up like that. Then we'll add a dark prism marine um, all the way across, all the way to the back like that. 
All right, then we're going to add in red carpet. Skip a block here and add it right above all this box section. All right, very cool. Then we'll add in red concrete inside where we had the stairs like that. All right, so for this section, we'll add in um, the dark prismarine stairs. Uh, right side up, facing that way towards the front. And another one It's going to be upside down facing the front as well. And then we'll add our um, dark prismarine all the way across to the back section on the bottom. And you know what? This bottom row just filled that in dark prismarine as well. All the way across until we reach just before that uh, stairs. Then we'll add red concrete here on the inside of these stairs. And then on top we'll add in two red concretes here. And for this top section, we'll add Dark Prismarine all the way across to the back again. <clears throat> all right. Then we'll add in red concrete from this section here all the way to the front of this radiator. Like that. Should line up. The other side, I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing like that. And then we'll add Dark Prismarine all the way across and line that up as well. And you know what? You can just, uh, for this section... Uh, go on the inner wall here and then add dark prismarine all the way across like that and make it two blocks tall like so alright so now we're left with this gap we would go on the inside part of this add red concrete like that just on the edges and then we'll add in uh, I wonder what I'm gonna do for this section alright so let me just check real quick what I did alright so there is one row red concrete in this nook all right, now I'm gonna make this Fermex logo on the side. It's gonna be um, upside down, smooth quartz here. And we'll add right side up in the back. Then we'll add smooth quartz all the way across sides. And in the space in between, there's gonna be this spruce button all the way across. Now the uh, flip side, it's gonna be upside down the front and right side up in the back of the stairs and pretty much the same thing that we did then add in our spruce buttons on the side alright very cool now we're going to add in um, this top detail it's going to be an iron trap door here with a birch button right behind it like that next we're going to go to this back truck and we'll add in a wither skeleton skull here and then um, let's add in dark oak trapdoor here and we're going to add dark oak trapdoor right above all the other fence gates like this then we'll add in smooth quartz slab right here all the way across and the other side same thing all the way across so after you've done that it should look like this next we'll add dark oak sign next to that brake wheel skip a block and add in two birch buttons skip a block add another one and go down here, add another one here, skip one, add two, skip one, add one, add one above the stairs, uh, acacia button here, and then two acacia buttons here, skip one, add one, skip one, add one, and that looks to be about it for this side. Now we'll work on the flip side, so for this side, add in birch button in between here, um, acacia buttons um, will have two of them here and the middle part we'll need to add in a red wool right there with a ladder on the side of it for a vent then we'll take out um oak button we'll add one next to the sign here and then uh take out my birch button again birch button here birch button here skip two add one and then skip one add one then two up here, skip one, add one here, and add another one in between here. And that looks to be about it for the buttons. All right, now I'm gonna make the railings. So go right over here, add uh, another brick fence here. Skip a block, add one, skip a block, add one, skip a block, add one. This part goes all the way down to the bottom. And then we'll skip one and add two blocks tall like that. And add another two block tall here. All right, then we'll move on to the other side. And we'll add two blocks tall, another brick fence. Skip one, two blocks tall. And skip one, another two blocks tall, and it's gonna hover. Then we'll add another brick fence sticking out here. And go down, 
two block tall, nether brick uh, fence like that. Then we'll add another brick fence, two blocks tall here. All right, then we're gonna connect the parts together using uh, dark oak uh, fence gates like this. And then we'll add another uh, nether brick fence like that. And then you'll continue this nether brick fence and dark oak fence all the way across. It's gonna look like this. As well as the other side, pretty much to do the same thing so it looks like this. All right, once we added the railings, we're gonna go to the cab and we're gonna black out the inside of this. Let's so just add a black concrete like so. It's all covered up. Now we'll add in um, acacia button right on top of this part of the hood on the right hand side. And we can also add in the banners, which we need for the X. So let's go to our loom. And we'll place red banner with black dye. You want to make an X shape, so just go with a diagonal. Then add another diagonal like this. And then we have our X, and we'll just place that in the front of the locomotive. Like so, so Faramex X. Now we also need a door banner, so take out a black banner with a red dye. And I'm going to make a border with it. Then we'll fill in the bottom of that banner with uh, red dye as well. So after we have our uh, door banner, we're going to place that in the back of the cab. Like this, I have to do this like every video, making the door banner. And yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the Ferramex SD70 ACE in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see me building trains in real time, you can come to my live streams. I live stream every Saturday. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.